What is going on, guys? This is D with Nearfall Gaming back with you know what it is another episode of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager mode. We're going to get right into it. October 4th, No Mercy Go Home Show. It's going to be a big one. We've got a few loose ends to tie up. We're going to get right into it, get right into our preview with match number one. It's a Cruiserweight Championship match, Triple Threat. By request of Sabu, a Extreme Rules match because it is his rematch. Gregory Helms made his appearance known, his presence felt in the opening segment and basically hopped into a promo, got his ass included into the championship match, and now we're looking at a triple threat between Sabu, Gregory Helms, and Chavo Guerrero for the Cruiserweight Championship. What we are looking at for match number two is another Master Lock Challenge. Technically, this isn't even a, an actual match. Okay, so it has got to be said. We're just going to pause really quick. We're, it's got to be said and addressed. At the time of recording, I was goofy in the head, apparently. This match between Chris Masters and Matt Hardy, this encounter, is in fact a match. It is not a, a Master Lock Challenge. So every time I mention Master Lock Challenge in this video, just know that the Master Lock Challenge happened a few weeks prior, not one week prior. Last week, Chris Masters had a match with Jeff Hardy. <laughs> so please forgive me just all over the place when explaining this specific instance here. So moving forward, just know Chris Masters, Matt Hardy, this is a match tonight. <laughs> I had to go back and re-record a new bit just to clear that up so hopefully that helps keep following along but we're we're calling it a submission match <laughs> for the gameplay sake but chris masters last week he challenged jeff hardy this week he's challenging matt hardy this is chris part of chris masters claim to getting into the tag team mix despite not having a partner so Chris Masters claims that he can defeat both the Hardy Boys by himself on his own. They aren't down with that. The, gen or the, the Hardy Boys are more open, open-minded towards that. But the general manager says, "Man, you got to find yourself a partner, or you're not going to challenge for the tag team titles, and that's just the way it's going to be." Chris Masters, this is part of his his case that he's making to to get that opportunity to face the tag team champions in a handicap match at No Mercy. So we are going to see what goes down here in this Master Lock Challenge between Chris Masters and Matt Hardy. Match number three. This is going to be a big one. Six-man tag team matchup with three different teams involved. We've got the team of William Regal and Marcus Corvon, Mr. Kennedy and Snitsky, and King Booker and Finley. They're all going to just let loose on one another in this matchup. It is, in fact, a hardcore triple threat tag team matchup. Uh, it's hardcore because that's the only way we can get three different tag teams into <laughs> the same match. So, we've got a whole lot of stuff going on with this one. Obviously, Kennedy and Snitsky, the Goonies, King Booker and Finley, Goonies. Uh, Marcus Corvon and William Regal, they have no allegiance or ties to one another. They are just the baby faces in this equation. We are looking at a fatal four-way for the United States Championship match, or for the United States Championship after it's kind of played a little bit of hot potato and went from King Booker to William Regal to Mr. Kennedy in a matter of about three weeks. And Marcus Corvon has earned himself a title match into this, this whole uh, conundrum, basically, so to speak. <laughs> so, we've got Corvon, Regal, Kennedy, Booker. Fatal four-way match. This match just kind of teases at all four of these guys being in the ring together. But of course, Snitsky and Finley are, they, they got their boys backs so it just all chaos ensues and we'll see what goes on here main event time match number four most ma four match four card match cards we've had or four match match cards <laughs> excuse me we've had in this series the main events always been some big lavish lavish thing right wrong now this this match was called upon as you can see Rey Mysterio Bobby Lashley no strings attached this match was called upon because Rey Mysterio you know he's 
he's not quite the talker he's not the biggest talker but he came out and he cut a promo and he was just talking about no mercy and talking about how much the world heavyweight championship opportunity meant to him and you know he was he was hyped up to get in the ring with bobby lashley and then bobby lashley comes out to the ring you know makes his appearance as world champion and this is uh baby face and baby face encounter no no shenanigans were pulled in this promo between either of these two but you know mysterio is basically showing respect and saying you know bobby just strap up big dog because i'm gonna give you a fight i respect you but i'm not gonna hold back and i'm gonna get that world championship we've uh teamed up in the past but, you know, come Sunday, we are enemies in just two days. I'm, I'm coming for that ass. Bobby Lashley just kind of, you know, he's very confident. He, he, he shrugs it off a little bit. And he just says, you know, Ray, uh, there's a lot of respect. You know, I've been watching you do your thing. And, you know, I'm glad that you're happy to get in the ring with me. But I don't really feel like doing another tag team match with you. And, you know, tonight, I... I'm just not feeling it. I'm not trying to take on some other randoms. I'm trying to focus on the match. Uh, Kendi is just kind of, or not Kendi, excuse me. Rey Mysterio is just kind of like, you know, tilts his head to the side. He's like, what? Like, brother, I did not ask you to be in a tag team match. I didn't ask you to be my tag team partner. I don't know why that just randomly came up. And the general manager actually comes out. And again, he's like, boys, 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 listen. Uh, you are my top dogs, but we can't be having another tag team match. There's nobody I could even pair you up against right now. Uh, you know, Edge and Kane have both been barred from the arena. I got my hands full with that. And we're going to make sure that Edge and Kane are, are nowhere near here and nowhere near one another. So, you know, I don't have time to scramble up and find a, a main event tag team match for you. Um, and Rey Mysterio is like, Teddy, brother. I'm not asking for a tag team match. And he, Rey Mysterio is starting to get a little frustrated. He's like, why? Like, just because just because we're faces here in this video game doesn't mean that we have to tag up every single time because we're going to be opponents at a later date. And, you, you know, Lashley is just making these kind of not even like directly malicious comments, but he's making these like backhanded compliments to Rey. And Rey's getting... He's, he's not going to have it for too long. And ultimately, Bobby Lashley's like, listen, man, uh, you know, I, I can't be doing you another favor like that. And then Rey Mysterio just snaps a little bit. He, he's still, you know, he, he he's collected, but he just fucking slaps Bobby Lashley across the face. He just thwap. And right. So just imagine that he has to like reach up a little bit because, you know, Lashley's obviously taller than Rey. I think everybody's taller than Rey. I think fucking Charlotte Flair is taller than Rey Mysterio. But that's beside the point. Uh, <laughs> um, Charlotte Flair is not in this universe. Her father's not even in this universe, really. Uh, he's, at least, he's, he's at least not on SmackDown, but now we're getting off topic, so we got to get back on topic. But anyway, Rey Mysterio just slaps the shit out of Bobby Lashley, pulls a Will Smith at the, at the Oscars or Grammys or whatever celebrity award show it was. Um, and Ray, Bobby Lashley kind of kind of can't believe it, but he goes from like zero to one hundred, not quite one hundred. He goes from like zero to seventy five instantly, though. He's not like laughing off like what the fuck did this guy do? I can't what? He doesn't shrug it off. He, no, he immediately goes bulgy eyes. You know, starts popping out veins out of his neck and everything. He's got the belt around his waist, but he's you know he's fixing to unfasten it. To, to get down and throw hands and Rey Mysterio he still got his mic and he's like listen Bobby I said I respected you but I do not idolize you I do not look up to you um, you know I'm, I'm shorter than you and I don't even look up to you type thing uh, I respect that you can do your thing in the ring but that that is the only thing that I'm going to acknowledge here and if you think that I am going to be some walk in the park let me tell you my brother you are fucking wrong and I am going to surprise the shit out of you, and I'm really going to, I'm really going to take that world heavyweight belt. And Bobby Lashley, he starts, you know, he's a little flustered. He's not the hottest on the mic anyway, so he doesn't really know what to say. But, <laughs> but he's like, you've just made the biggest mistake that uh, of your whole career, Ray. I don't think you realize uh, just what you've done. You're gonna have to retire that mask um, when once once I'm finished with you because you're gonna be so ashamed of yourself. Uh, da 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 da. And the general manager. He's like, boys, 
if you guys are really just gonna press this issue all night, I'll tell you what. Tonight, no tag team match, but a one-on-one -on -one match between Rey Mysterio and Bobby Lashley, and the winner will pick the stipulation for your title match at No Mercy. And that is that's the big implication. And Rey Mysterio, you know, he's he's like I right. and Bobby Lashley's also like I right. um, <laughs> so that is how the very long-winded way of how we got to our main event this evening. So without further ado, we're gonna lock it all in. We're gonna advance, we're gonna confirm. No turning back now. Let's go ahead and get going. I know I said this triple threat was going to be a title match. However, Sabu moseyed himself on out of the power 15. Therefore, we can't make it a title match. We're simulating it anyway. Chavito, ideal outcome. Regardless, Chavito picks up the W. Well done, sir. Moving on to match number two. You see it is a parking lot brawl between Chavito and Kenny. It is not an official match by any means. We didn't go over it on the preview, so it couldn't be an official match. But Kenny Dykstra attacks Chavo after Chavo's victory in the triple threat. Chavo makes his way past the or out backstage, past the entrance ramp and the stage and everything. Kenny blindsides him, takes him out, just absolutely brutalizes him and tells Chavito that they've got a match scheduled for No Mercy for Chavo's Cruiserweight Championship. And Chavito gets the extra little popularity rub, says a little middle finger to Kenny. Double dips in the W column for this evening. Moving on, Chris Masters, Matt Hardy. Not an actual match, Master Lock Challenge. And Matt Hardy doesn't really matter here because it is... It's not a real match, first of all. And second of all, the Master Lock Challenge doesn't even actually com get completed because Kalito, the newest addition to SmackDown, a.k.a. Chris Masters' tag team partner for No Mercy, that Kalito... <laughs> I, can't, I can't do those, like... Those those Latin names I can't roll my R worth a, worth a damn. My wife is Hispanic, which is funny about it, but I can't do that shit. Uh -uh. Um, so it just sounds kind of sad when I do it. But yes, Carlito doesn't say it as Caucasian as I possibly can. Uh, he is the newest member. He's gonna team up with Chris Masters, and it's gonna be the team of Chris Masters and Calito versus Matt and Jeff Hardy for the tag team titles. So we will see what comes about from there. Up next in the, not the main event. I keep wanting to call it the main event. It's not the main event. The boy, is it going to be a banger of a match? It's going to be some controlled chaos for sure. Three-way tag team match. Regal and Corvan, Kennedy and Snitsky, King Booker and Finley. And we are going to simulate the three, or this triple threat tag match. And basically, um, it didn't really matter who got the win. Mr. Kennedy does not take the pin. Snitsky takes the pin. King Booker gets the pinfall victory despite Finley hitting Snitsky with the shillelagh. It's a tornado match. Uh, it's all crazy, uh, but it is not necessarily a, a hardcore match in the kayfabe. But I digress. That's not as important. This is really just a teaser to you know show everyone who is competing in the Fatal 4-Way match at No Mercy, and we have accomplished that. So we're going to move on to the main event, which is going to be the lone match that we play this evening with Rey Mysterio being our boy. So we'll see what we can do here. Here we go. Here comes that man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Ray Mysterio. From San Diego, California, weighing 165 pounds, Ray Let us go, Mysterio. brother. And Ray, you know, he's he's poked his head around the United States title picture. He took part in the contendership tournament at the start of the season, but he has not had a necessarily a fair shake at a singles title. King Booker pulled some shenanigans when they faced one another, I think, at the Great American Bash. But otherwise, <clears throat> Ray's just been putting on real nice matches. He's got a real nice win-loss record, but, you know, no gold to show for it. And here comes Big Belt Bobby. Seventy-five pounds. 
that man that the world heavyweight champion as you can see he's got his belt on because we uh, took it a <laughs> click from an exhibition shot so he's got his title belt so my man is represented as champion all right Ray oh, <laughs> okay I had been playing a little bit of a 2k not too long ago uh, the other night and I'm trying to sprint with the wrong button brother I'm trying to sprint with the wrong button This is, this is not going to be an easy match. Um, Bobby is that boy. He's like the second or third highest guy on, on SmackDown. Just by overall rating. <clears throat> Pop, if you mix the popularity in there, which I don't think has any effect on gameplay. He, he is that man. He is a full one hundo. Ooh, okay, huge suplex. Lands me right on my stomach. Right on the belly there. Anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they the adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming. Go right. Nice. Yes, I'm tossed. There we go, brother. Let's go. Hit him with the frog splash. Don't put your knees up. Don't you dare. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that's a whole lot of momentum he got for me breaking the pin on my own account. Fucker. Can you, can you, there we go. Can, no, okay, okay, I can do this. Gotcha, okay, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with you. Um, let's try to hit our first one. Yeah, we got one. We got one, BB. This is, certainly is not gonna be enough to end the match. But we gotta, we gotta get our big spots in where we can, am I right? Am I right? Let's go. Yeah, just, I hate that he gives him fucking uh, momentum for breaking out when I'm the one who like releases the pin. Granted, he was gonna break out anyway, but like that's the point of me breaking the pin myself is that he doesn't get that momentum, so I can keep the upper hand. Son of a bitch, let's go. Okay. It certainly served him well so far in his career. Keep telling yourself that. It's true what they say. The Just drag you by your foot, brother. Fall. Okay, nice reversal. Nice reversal. Play. Let's go. Okay. Here it is. He's building up steam and he's about to Dude, I am the smoothest to do this, brother. Let's go. Okay. That's not where you want to be. Another six one more. Big move, big move. Bob, Bobby doesn't even know where he's at. This is what happens when you piss off Rey Mysterio. I still don't think it's going to be a three here. Hey, oh, we got it. <laughs> Let's go. I stand corrected, folks. Big victory there for Rey. And this, uh, with this victory, Rey Mysterio will now be the one to choose the stipulation for the match at No Mercy. And in kayfabe, you know, during his his celebration. He, he goes, he reaches for the mic, he calls for it. He says, Bobby, you better get a tight grip of that championship belt now because you're not going to have it for much longer because come Sunday, I am going to take that title from you in a ladder match. I just proved to you that I could pin you in front of the whole world, in front of SmackDown. It doesn't matter. I feel comfortable in any type of matchup, but do you feel comfortable? climbing 10 feet in the air and reaching for that title i guess we'll just have to find out in two days and that's the way it goes down folks that is our smackdown main event ray mysterio picks up the huge victory over bobby lashley not the most surprising victory because i mean he's the number one contender but boy just two days before 
Let's go. Okay, yikes. Whole lot of contracts expiring, but we are going to be just fine with that. Let's check them out really quick. One, two, three contracts expiring this week. So Kane, of course, he's going to be the first one I sign. Big boss status. Okay. So we signed everybody. We only have 40 grand to our name, but that's okay. Got those rosters taken care of. We'll take a... With, with it being the the short week the go home show we do not have to set up our our match card well since it is a pay-per-view we're going to we're, we we haven't been setting up the match card before in the same episode but because it is a pay-per-view then we are we we're going to set up the match card as much as we can to the best of our abilities and because it's no mercy i goofed up there's an elimination chamber. I did not plan for an elimination chamber. Um, I kind of just got ahead of myself and I forgot to check <laughs> that uh, uh, that these pay-per-views have these predetermined matches. I, I remembered that, I disregarded it, and I didn't do anything to set myself up for any kind of success there. So we're just gonna set up the, the final three matches, so to speak, for No Mercy, and then we will just throw some bullshit together for the elimination chamber uh sorry <laughs> but that's just the way it's gonna go but we'll get our main events booked up and everything like that world heavyweight title ladder match it's what the it, or, or it is the title match of what you just saw excuse me Rey mysterio bobby lashley world heavyweight title there we go all right moving on match number two we got edge versus kane in a last man standing match this is the, the, the rivalry is truly culminating here, and boy, is it going to be a barn buster. I'm hoping for a five-star. I fucked up on the rivalry, so we might not actually get the five-star, but we'll probably put a nice little string of, of four-and-a-half stars, <laughs> um, four-and-a-half-star matches. So that is the way it goes. It's unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about it now. And then match number three, we will do our tag team matchup. It is going to be the Hardy Boys, just for just strictly for rub here, um, for popularity purposes. We got the Hardy Boys versus Carlito and Chris Masters for the tag team titles. There we go, bing, bang, boom. All right, folks, that that's all you need to know. We'll do a we'll we'll. Uh, my gosh, I'm all over the place here check out what they did on their previous show just because this is the previous show i think they we went over this in the last episode but i'm not sure ashley loses to a created wrestler and a domestic violence dispute sandman loses a triple threat roddy piper loses a handicap match as he should uh one-on-one -on -one, john and jtg their boys I, I i can appreciate that the game put them together kali and michelle mccool that's an interesting one undertaker and candace I wonder what happened to Undertaker and Michelle McCool, but Batista picks up the victory there. And then more empty match cards, Mark Henry and Shad, a handicap match, and then a handicap match. It is fucking dumbfounding how I am not just running away <laughs> with the fan support here. Yep. Beats me, man. All right, folks. Thank you so much. If you're still <laughs> made it to this video, this video was jumbled it was all over the place and if you're watching you're a real one i appreciate you stay tuned for no mercy it's going to be coming at you soon subscribe to the channel like the video if you haven't already and leave some feedback down below all that stuff is not a requirement but it sure is appreciated we'll catch you next time thanks again for watching